Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. So today I'm going to show you all how to do this smoky eye look. I love this. As you can see that you know it, it's like a very gradient smoke, smoky kind of look. So the bit bottom part here is very dark and you know slowly I smoked it up like you know to look a bit brownish and you know a bit orangish at the top. So keep on watching if you want to learn how to achieve this look. I firstly I want to apologize uh, for not posting out the videos on weekends as I was told you all that I would. Uh, my husband just came back from being overseas for me about one year, one month. <laughs> so I just uh, was spending some time with him. And I've also decided that uh, moving forward from now on, I'm going to post out my videos every Wednesday at 12 in the afternoon. So yay! At least, um, you know, when I have a fixed time, you all can, you know, look out for it during that time. Yay! Colors of Thread, thank you so much. I really, really like this earring. So pretty! Oh, if you like this earring too, don't forget to check out their Instagram account. I've tagged them below. So check them out. Give them your support. Got all my brushes! I'm so excited. You know why? Because um, I've tried smoky high many times. Most of the time it looks like as if I uh, was punched in my eye. So um, hopefully, after a very long time, I'm going to recreate this smoky eye look. So hopefully it turns out right. Okay, pray for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> so before I start with my eyeshadow, I have actually uh, already used my eyeshadow primer. And on top of the eyeshadow primer, I have used a little bit of my concealer to go over the eyelids and then set it with my setting powder. Uh, why I, I do that is to so my eyes and my face will look the same tone. If not, if you don't put anything on your eyes, and I have very dark circles. So it will be very obvious, like it will look like an eyeshadow on its own <laughs> if I don't conceal it. So that's why I neutralize my eye spots. Then I will start with my eyeshadow. My eyeshadow. I am going to use my BH Cosmetics palette. So in this palette, I'm going to go in with the most lighter shade, which would be this orangey tone first, just to go over the lid. So you, especially when you're doing a smoky eye, right, you should always start with a very light tone first. After I have used the light shade on, uh, just to start off my crease uh, colour. And next up, I'm going to use a slightly darker colour, a bit more brownish, like something like that, to go in as a second crease colour. So I'm going to layer on my colour slowly to make it, you know, as it goes by, then it will get a bit darker and darker and darker. So I just used my cold pencil and went over the eyelids like this. You can use any kind of cold pencil, using the magic ones. Any kind of gel liner that you have, I have this, so I'm just using this to darken this area first so that when you pile on the black right, it will look very very intense over here. So using a normal shading brush, I'm just going to blend this slightly up. So the dark colour is done, so what I'm going to do now is I actually have a very dark so I'm going to pile on my black on top of that. It looks like this might going to have fall out. So what I'm going to do is, I should have done this before I started, but I'm going to take a little bit of my setting powder. I am going to go under my eye first and put a layer of the setting powder so that if there are any fallouts from the eyeshadow, right, it will get picked up by these um, 
I mean, it'll fall on top of this and I can just wipe them away easily without shrieking my face black shadow. Yeah, I have just done that. So after I've done that, I'm just going to go back to my last color. And I'm just going to layer it on top. I'm going to slowly bring that up. I'm going to change my brush. I'm going to use this kind of, what do you call this? This is a crease brush. Since I'm going to the crease, I'm going to put a bit of that. If you have uh, drawn a bit too much, just use a tissue to wipe off the extra, the, the excess. So I'm going to use this big fluffy brush to blend in the orange with the black to give it a very gradient look. And using my setting powder to wipe off the excess eyeshadow. And repeating the same method for the other eye as well. To give it a pop of colour, I'm using my highlighter to highlight my arch brown and also the inner corners of my eyes. Now that my eyeshadow is done, I'm going to use my powder brush to wipe off the setting powder under my eye. So to add a little bit of colour under my eye, I'm going to go in with orange, this black, as well as this maroon colour. And for the inner corner, I'm going to add a little bit of this light brown colour. Finally, I'm going to use the same gold pencil to uh, draw my waterline. I'm bad. I am actually going to... Because I feel this is a bit too dark. So to add a little bit more colour, I'm going to take my blue um, highlighter and just slightly I'm going to go under my eye. I'm going to add more highlighter to my inner corners and then I'm going to curl my lashes then of course not forgetting the eyeliner with the definite wing <laughs> and to finish up the whole look I'm going to go in with my mascara on top of the lashes as well as the below the lashes It's done! Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe below. I'll be posting up videos every Wednesday at 12. So don't look out for it!